Hi, this is Calamar1988, and this is my deconversion video part two. Uh, I suppose I should just jump in. Uh, I after I lost uh, my fear of hell, I uh, I suppose I uh, I really I, I wanted to find other atheists to talk to, really talk to, not just the arguments in the books and learning more about the subject information. I wanted to hear their arguments you know back and forth back and forth you know I want to you know put my 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 idea out there and then they put theirs back in and you know you really hear have a conversation with them not just listen to their conversations with other people I wanted to start making comments and things like that asking questions and put out my own videos eventually and uh... well I I, I uh... well I uh, I didn't have the nerve to and I thought, and I know this is going to sound crazy, but for some dumb reason, and, uh, uh, <laughs> for some crazy psycho reason, I thought it would be really easy to come out to my family. That it would be easier for, to come out to my family than to come out to strangers. I know that sounds stupid. And maybe it's because I'm a bloody yank, as <laughs> XX Pope Benedict might say. Well, I, I really, when it comes right down to it, I, I was scared, but I had to go out, uh, out, out there and tell my family. And I told my brother, and he was cool with it, and he was not bothered at all. He was an atheist as well, and I blew my away. My father turned out to be an atheist as well. My mother, not an atheist, she cried the second I told her. And then I was like, okay, well, that was bad. That was really bad. But hey, huh, two out of three ain't bad. So, hey, I bet now I'm going to go to my aunties and uncles where my grandmother is and where I know they're all Christian and my grandmother is a Christian fundamentalist. And I bet you nothing bad will happen nothing bad will happen if me her favorite grandson says I'm an atheist to her that was a bad idea <sighs> but no I had to do it and I told her I told her and it became a gigantic argument I mean I thought she was gonna have a heart attack she was like I thought she was about to start going I feel the Holy Spirit I smite you in the, in, the Lord, in the name of the Lord I smite you you have the devil you're the devil child you're the devil child I thought that was coming I, I thought it was coming I really did I thought it was just I will kill the demon in you child <laughs> I really thought that was coming next but uh, I got through it and I had some really negative feedback from some of my uh, well really from just my grandmother my, the rest of my aunties and uncles really didn't get too too harsh on me uh, my uncle Michael was a little bit judgmental and he didn't really listen to what I had to say uh, on my arguments but my auntie Peggy she's very rational very uh forward-thinking Christian. It, I, I, in fact, she's never actually said that she was a Christian. She might be an atheist. She's very, very well educated. And she really thinks things through logically and rationally. Sounds like an atheist to me, I know. Uh, a lot of uh, other atheists out there might think that. But I don't know. I never asked her. But uh, it was a really hard time having no one else to talk to. So finally I started to uh, rate videos and comment and send personal messages uh, to people. My first message I sent to someone was Phil Hellene. He Phil Hellenes. I used to call him Phil Helliness because I, I don't know why. Maybe because I, I was mispronouncing it obviously. But I pronounce it Phil Helliness. I know that makes no sense. If you looked at his name, it's not spelled in anything like that. But Phil Hellings. And uh, 
I uh, talked to uh, I talked to him or I sent a message to him saying you know I suffer in horrible physical pain and yet I choose or I choose to look at the facts and the evidence and I cannot ignore reality even though part of me wants to and that was when I was really in a lot of pain that day and I sent him that message and he was it was after a video he made where he was comparing Christianity to a painkiller. And I was saying, well, I, I, I'd rather go without the painkiller than get addicted. Or stay addicted, I should say. I need a detox. And uh, he, was, he just responded to me going, I'm amazed. I'm amazed you have the courage and the strength to look at the facts even though you'd rather not. Even though you have a, a reason not to even though your emotions and your very well-being may hinder on you believing you still look at reality and that makes you my hero or something like that he said or you know like uh, that makes me look up to you or that makes me uh, you know proud that you're also an atheist or, or that, that you are a fan of mine or something like that or, or something like that. I can't remember. It was something, I think it was they said that that, that makes you my hero because I said earlier in one of, one of my, uh, in the me message I said, uh, you're my, one of my heroes or, or you are my hero. And I think he said well, that makes you my hero and that was like, it, it was, it was amazing to me. It, it, it made me feel so good. And that was what really made me start to, to go, you know what? Even if I get bad responses, I'm going to start talking to people online. I'm start going to, I'm going to start commenting, and I did. I did that on a different channel called Mad Bad uh, SS Bryce. It was supposed to be Ass Bryce, but either I misspelled it or YouTube didn't think Ass should be in your channel name or username, your username. Anyway, I uh, after I really came, uh, I came out to my family. It wasn't hard to come out online and say I'm an atheist. I wasn't afraid of somebody uh, saying anything to me. What the f what what worse could they say to me after what my grandmother said to me? I mean, she said to my face that I was an ignorant, stupid fool, that was an idiot, that was gonna burn in hell with Carl Sagan and so many other thinkers. Because she said specifically Carl Sagan, because I was talking to her about Carl Sagan, and that me and him and all the other brilliant thinkers and scientists would scream up to God begging for forgiveness as that our flesh was burned from our bones. My grandmother, my favorite grandma, my favorite person really, other than my father and my brother, told me this. It broke my heart. She was so cruel to say that to me. And she said it in anger, so I forgive her, and I forgave her then. <laughs> and it's kind of something like of what uh, Cult of Dusty. Uh, you may what what came up sometime. I'll put him put it in the description bar below, and I'll put Phil Hellings and down below. Uh, but Cult of Dusty, he uh, Dusty said that he feels more like a. Uh, he feels more like Jesus now as an atheist than he ever did as a Christian. I feel the same way. I can forgive them because I know that they are saying this out of fear and out of ignorance. She doesn't know what she's saying. Or she does, but she's not thinking it through. And I talked to her some other times and she feels bad about what she said, but she can't really take it back because that's what her religion says. But anyway, I just wanted you all to, to understand my deconversion story, and now I, 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 it took me months, really, to build up the nerve to make videos and put myself out there visually, not just in, in typing but, or writing or whatever, but visually. And I'm doing it. So I hope you appreciate that. And uh, I hope you uh, enjoy my videos, and I hope I didn't ramble too much. I'm kind of tired right now. And uh, have a nice day. See ya.